All right, welcome back to Red or Reso. In this video, I'm going to talk about another thing that everyone worries about buying storage units, but rarely ever happens. But it happened to me here recently, kind of like the video where the person came looking for their stuff and acted crazy. Um, this happened here just here in the last month or two. And basically, what happened is we won a unit online. Um, and the company that we won this unit for is notorious for not having any problems at all with this. They've always been a place where you always got good stuff for years and years and years because they didn't go through units because they were all about renting units and not playing around with any of that stuff. Normally, actually, they would um, they were very strict. You'd see them, you know, employees get fired, district managers would get fired really, really easily because they wanted to do everything by the book, by the law, by the auction law to make sure that they didn't get sued by the customer and they were just interested in renting units. That's still the case, but even at those places, every now and then something weird is going to happen. But it's public storage and public storage has always been really good. When they used to do the live auctions, I mean, I remember many times where they would just stop the auction right there when something wasn't right to make sure everything was on the up and up. Um, but the way that public storage does it is the district manager who's over about like five to ten locations they will actually they're the ones that cut the lock to make sure that the, the right locks are getting cut um, lift open the door snap the pictures and um, put the sill on there they put a little sill with a serial number only way to, to open that door is to break that sill so then they know it's been tampered with whether or not the, the district manager still does the pictures or not, I'm not 100%. When it used to be live, they're the ones, they didn't do pictures at that time, but they're the ones that opened the lock, put the overlock on it, and then put their sill over it and made sure everything was correct there. And then they were the ones that conducted the auction. So if there was ever anything wrong with the sill, they knew that somebody there at the facility, either a customer had broken in, or one of the people that worked there was tampering or something had happened. But we went to go get this unit, and it was actually the dish unit. The dish unit that, you know, a couple videos back, that unit, when we went to go get it, in the picture online, there was like boxes and stuff and boxes in the back, right up on the top, right smack in the middle of the picture was like an old baby carriage, like a vintage baby carriage. We went to go get the unit and the way it works online, you go and you pay, you go and you pay in the office once you're done, they will walk you to the unit and they will unlock it because they have their overlock on it and then they will break the sill and show you the sill and everything. And I've gotten so used to, this was my fault a little bit oh, as far as not catching it sooner. You get so used to there's, you know, the picture matches the picture, you know, the picture on the online ad matches what you see when they open the door because overwhelming majority of the time there's no issue at all. And so they opened the unit, but I wasn't really paying attention very closely because I'm just looking at stuff and say, okay, everything's good. Um, I had Leah, my wife, and I had Ann with me. We start loading stuff. We had already taken a few loads down to the truck because it's up on the second or third floor. So we're having to take it down the elevator onto the truck. We had already taken a few loads on the tr onto the truck. And then I heard Leah say something about a baby bed that she said, oh, here's a baby bed. So that triggered in my mind that, wait a minute, where was the um, carriage at? So I'm looking around and I'm like, I didn't see a carriage. And I asked them, I'm like, y'all didn't see a carriage, did you? And you know, they're all like, no. So there's no carriage. I looked around just to make sure it wasn't in there and we hadn't moved it without thinking. I went down to the truck and looked and of course it's not there. And so I pull up the picture, there's the baby carriage. And actually there's another thing that had been moved. There is a ladder in the picture because there's when you kind of came in, there's boxes over here, boxes on the back, boxes there, and there's a little open space. But the ladder was kind of laying across it to where you would have had to climb over the ladder. It was like laying across the open space, but at an angle, like held up by the wall, just in the way. And that was, because I remember, well, I just walked right into the unit. The ladder was up against the wall. So somebody had moved that ladder, had gotten the, the carriage, um, and what else? I don't know. I mean, most of the boxes were still taped up and everything and harder to get to. There were dishes, but who knows what they might have got that was, you know, easy picking. I don't think they moved a whole bunch, you know, went through everything, but they might have grabbed more easy picking stuff that was on the top. And I'll never know because you can't see everything in the pictures. 
but I'm going to show here in just a second the picture of you know of the um, storage auction listing that I was bidding on the picture that they provided and then I'm going to show the video where we open the door and you'll see what it looked like when we first opened the door and what the unit looked like and see that the carriage is gone and the ladder has been moved and maybe some other small differences we can catch but that's coming up right now and it's dark in here there's no light in here but as you see the unit goes 10 foot that way we got boxes and furniture and everything and then it's oh, i'm sorry it actually goes 12 foot that way and then it's 15 foot that way so if we come in here we got lots of boxes all right so basically once i figured out that somebody had been in the unit even though the sill was still on there i go down to the office and i talked to the guy and i already knew that the guy in the office was like the um what they call the floater they all, all these facilities have a manager and then when that manager has to have a day off but their facility is still open, they'll have somebody that kind of floats around to the different facilities and just covers that day shift and the next day they're at a different little location. So they normally don't know everything about what's going on at the locations in detail most of the time. So I go down there and he's like, he's like, yeah, you're right. I didn't, I didn't see that because I showed him the picture and it was right in the middle. He's like, yeah, I don't remember seeing that. And he's, and, you know, the sill was on there. So he calls the district manager and the district manager, you know, kind of just blows me off. Honestly, I mean, I didn't talk to him, but I could hear what he was saying. It was one of those things where it was quiet there and I could hear every word coming through the phone. He's basically told him that I needed to call storage treasures. So, but storage treasures, they're not going to have anything to do with, you know, they're just the facilitator of the auction. They're not the ones that are there putting the sale on it and making sure that it's not gone through. So it was very weird. He kind of just said, you know, he just needs to call, call them. He needs to call them. So I, he gets off the phone and tells the guy, I'm like, well, storage treasures isn't going to be, be able to do anything for me. And so I guess I'm going to call, you know, you know, corporate you know public storage and just and just let them know what's going on i was like and that's weird because the district manager should either if they're innocent they should be wanting to find out who's been tampering with the unit or if he was the one that was tampering with the unit you would think that he would want to make sure that you know that it was nipped in the bud you know talk to me and try to figure out a solution before i called corporate and something got found out but he didn't either one of those things and so i called corporate and i got somebody on the phone and the problem is, unfortunately, you're just going from person to person and it's just wasting your time. You're getting put on hold. And I never really heard anything back. And I kind of, once I got off the phone with them and they were gonna call me back and stuff, I was like, I was like, we we're all the way, we were a long ways away. We were kind of in the middle of loading. I was like, let's just load this stuff up and be done with it. It's like, there's still a huge amount of stuff here. I'm, I'm still fine with it. I, you know, I was really just trying to help them out because I told them on the phone, I was like, I don't want my money back. I've already been in the unit and I've already loaded some stuff. So, you know, if I would have called it from the very beginning, I just meant, look, I'm not paying. Here's the picture. Here's what it is. But since I'd already been in there and loaded stuff and moved stuff, I was like, I don't want my money back. I just want y'all to be aware. And, you know, it didn't really get anywhere. It's like they were trying to help me on, on the phone, but they were going to have to talk to this person and this person. And I was like, I'm not going to just sit out here and wait or drive all the way back here. I got a lot of stuff to do. So we loaded that thing up and we were done with it. Never heard back from them. I'm not going to try to call them again because it's just a waste of time just sitting there on hold for, you know, and getting, tr and when you finally get somebody, then that's not the right person. You got to go to another person. So I just know to be weary in that specific district. And I'm, you know, now, now I got way too relaxed on not paying attention to the picture. Um, I definitely got to make sure that I look closely when they open that unit that it matches up. Like hold my phone up, matches up, that you don't see anything major gone. It was how in the world I missed it. I don't know because it's this big baby carriage just sitting right on the top, right in the middle. But I guess when the door opened, I started looking at stuff and I got sidetracked. And you know, whatever. Like still good stuff in there. Still made money, but you know, the carriage was gone and who knows what else that was just kind of sitting around on the top and easy to get to that got gone that could have made money. No telling. So that is definitely something that I 
run into very, very, very little that I know everybody worries about. I even, you know, heard people think that it happens all the time on every single unit, and that's not the case. There's just not enough time in the day for that to happen. And the weird thing is, is a lot of times, most of these units get paid up before they, you know, the picture's taken, before it actually gets auctioned off, it's paid up. So if you're in there taking out stuff out of units, it's just you're gonna end up with some major customer issues and lawsuits. That's why public storage, normally you don't have issues because they're not trying to have lawsuits. They are just in the business of renting units. They're a huge company and they're not playing around wanting to you know, sell, sell a few people's stuff, you know, sell their items to make money. They're making money renting storage units. So that's up for that video, like I said, you know, not really a major problem that you need to, you know, be stressing yourself out over, but definitely pay attention. Unlike what I did, pay close attention if you've been on a unit to make sure the pictures match up before you start loading. Because once you're in there and you're moving everything around, it's hard to prove, you know, 100% that the item wasn't there because everything, you know, they don't know you've already been in there and touched everything and moved everything. But that's it for this video. If you like it, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel for all of our storage auction videos and everything to do with the resale business, y'all have a good one.